Hi everyone, welcome back. So we're at our last form tolerance, which is the cylindricity tolerance. This only applies to cylindrical surfaces, which would be either a shaft or a hole, and it would constrain them within two concentric cylinders. Now, this is only applied to a surface and never to an axis, so therefore there'll be never a diameter symbol, the max material condition symbol, or the least material condition symbol. Now, since this is constraining the entire surface at once, it's kind of like doing a bunch of circularity and straightness tolerance kind of mixed together. Um, like with circularity, we measured each individual cross section by itself. This time, we'll be measuring the entire surface at once and making sure that it is um, cylindrical. So we would be figuring out what axis we're measuring it from and we'd see what is the distance from that axis at each individual point make sure that the full indicator movement isn't more than this. But since we don't know where the axis is supposed to be, we're just kind of guessing, we have to go back and forth several times until we found the axis that minimized the full indicator movement. Now, as with all surface tolerances, um, there is a perfect form boundary that's established by our size tolerance. So we have that maximum condition perfect form boundary that we're not allowed to break. In this case, it would be perfect cylindrical boundary. So we only get cylindricity variation um, when we depart from the max material condition. We only get it there. So our maximum cylindricity variation is going to be limited by amount of departure from the max material condition. So our size tolerance will limit cylindricity variations, and we would be able to limit that further as our part moves away from max material condition by having a cylindricity tolerance applied. So we only want to add in the cylindricity tolerance if we need a greater control than is constrained by our size tolerance. Now, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, cylindricity tolerance values, um, we're looking at the radial distance between the outer and inner boundary circles. And we're going to do that for every single cross section and see what the max full indicator movement is. An easy way of doing this is just to take your cylinder connect it at both ends, and then spin it while measuring with your indicator. You'll move down the surface while spinning and rotating the entire time. And you can measure the full indicator movement, and then if it's too high, you reorient it slightly. Maybe we'll the axis was here, and this one should be down here. And you keep on spinning it until you finally minimize that full indicator movement. Now, one thing we haven't talked about is that we can apply um, cylindricity tolerance and other tolerances to a limited area. Perhaps we don't care about the cylindricity beyond a certain point, beyond like, you know, it has to be constrained by its size dimensions. Or we don't care about the form tolerance beyond a certain point. Or perhaps we want a greater form tolerance, or sorry, a smaller form tolerance in a particular area, and a larger um, form tolerance everywhere else. What we'll do then is we'll apply a chain line which is parallel to the surface. And we will specify a higher tolerance, or sorry, our lower tolerance for that particular section by attaching it to that chain line. Then everything else will be constrained by either the size tolerance or another um, form tolerance. So this can give you greater tolerance where you need it and less tolerance where you want to have more control. Like perhaps this is where it's going to be gripped by something. You want to make sure that it's perfectly cylindrical at that point. But everything else just needs to be, you know, very, you know, close to the right shape. Um, it doesn't have to be so perfect though because there's not going to be anything gripping it there. Um, so hopefully it made sense. Thank you for listening. And be on the lookout for those example videos. I'll come out as soon as I can to show you these different tolerances being applied. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.